Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem seven dash two. So the statement is: If wide flange beam is subjected to a shear of twenty kilo newton, determine the maximum shearing stress in the beam. So in this problem, we have to calculate the maximum shearing stress in the beam. So you can see this is the beam where shear force is applied of twenty kilo newton. All the dimension of this beam is cross section of the beam is shown. I have drawn it over here. So you have to find. maximum shearing stress in the beam so let's start with the solution so as we know that maximum shearing stress in the beam is equal to v into q max divided by i into t simply the formula is tau is equal to v into q divided by i into t but for maximum shearing stress It is equal to v into q max divided by i into t, where v is the shear force, q is the first moment of inertia of the section uh, above or below the neutral axis, i is the second moment of inertia of whole cross section, t is the thickness. So we what we have we have in the given statement we have v and t as well from this uh, figure. here but we do not have q max and i so for that we have to find this first so first of all we will find the moment of inertia i for the whole section and that is equal to if you consider this whole as rectangular box this whole as a rectangular box clear so you will find that this is equal to 1 over 12 breadth is 200 mm which is 0.2 so 0.2 into height is total height is 320 and 2340 which is equal to 0.304 0.304 so sorry not 304 it is 340 which is 340 Three four zero whole power q minus. So you in this whole box, if you remove this box and this box, so you will get the moment of inertia of this I section. Clear? So what we have to we have to minus one over twelve. The remaining. one one method is that you have to remove the moment of inertia of this rectangular section which is empty and this section and the second is when you subtract uh, 20 mm which is the thickness of web from this width clear uh, that will give you the total width remaining width of this and this portion so 20 200 minus 20 which is equal to 0.18 m this will be the width this width and this width is 0.18 into its height which is 300 mm and in term of meter it, it is equal to 0.300 whole power q so i have applied in this problem i have applied this method so when you calculate it you will get the moment of inertia of whole section is 0.250 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter 4 now we will apply q max uh, we will find q max and q max is equal to sum of y dash bar into a dash clear and q will be calculated from the neutral axis so from i have drawn it over here so this is the neutral axis which is at the mid of this 0.340 so ignore the lower portion and take the upper portion so you can see you have two areas one is this one i will show it by using different color one area is this one clear and the second area is this one so by using this formula we have 
y1 dash into a1 dash plus y2 dash into a2 dash clear now what is y1 dash so y1 dash is the distance from neutral axis to the centroidal of a1 dash this is a1 dash so a1 dash is 0.2 meter width and height is 0.02 so y1 dash will be the in mid of this height which is this the half of this will be 0.01 so this is 0.15 you can see clear and half which is 0.01 so this y1 will be equal to 0.16 meter clear and y2 will be the since a2 this is a2 dash clear so the half of this this height is 0.15 so the half of this will be y2 dash from the neutral axis which is again written over here which is 0.15 divided by 2 is 0.075 again a1 is 0.2 multiplied by 0.02 and a2 dash is this thickness which is 0.02 and height is 0.075 so i will write it over here y1 dash clear which is 0.0, .0 uh, sorry y1 dash 0 0.16 into area a1 is 0 0.2 into 0 0.02 clear plus y2 dash is 0 0.075 into area is equal to 0 0.02 into into 0 0.15 so this will give you the q max there okay this will give you the q max and this q max comes out to be 0 0.865 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter power 3 now you can see you have this uh, q max and i you can put it in this formula to get the maximum sharing stress so maximum sharing stress tau max is equal to v into q max divided by i into t v is given as 20 kilonewton so 20 into 10 is power 3 q max is 0 0.865 into 10 is power minus 3 divided by i is the moment of inertia second moment of inertia of whole cross section which is 0 0.25 into 10 is power 3 and t is the thickness which you can see here is 0 0.02 or 0 0.02 so this is 0 0.02 so when you calculate it it will become 3.459 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or simply you can say that maximum sharing stress tau is equal to 3.459 mega or 3.46 mega Pascal. so this is the answer of our question number 7-2 i hope you have enjoyed thank you for watching